Hi, Senior Stage. This is JP. Today we're going to, to look at uh, the solutions to exercise 1 on page 248. Let's look at the first question. The area of a parallelogram is 31.5 um, centimeters square and its base is 7 centimeters long. So you know that the area of a parallelogram is the base times the perpendicular height. Okay? So they told you what the area is. They told you that the area is equal to 31.5, okay? And then they told you what the base is. They told you the base is equal to 7. So you know what the area is, 31.5. It's just substitution. And you know what the base is. The base is equal to 7. So you put in 7 with the base. And you need to solve for, for h. And how would we do that? Well, you would divide 7 on both sides, right? So 7 times h divided by 7 and 31.5 divided by 7. And then you're going to get um, 31.5 divided by 7 is 4.5. That would mean that um, the height is equal to 4.5 centimeters. In the second question, we've got the circumference. Um, so you need to find the circumference in the area of a circle that has a radius of 7 centimeters. So the first part, the circumference, is equal to 2 pi radius. And so pi is the constant, so 2 pi times by the radius, which is 7. 2 times by 7 is 14, so it's 14 times by pi. And you can use your calculator to do that. 14 times by pi, that is equal to 43.98 if you round to two decimal places. Let's look at question B if you want to find the area. That is equal to pi radius square. Pi again is the constant. The radius is 7. So it's pi times 7 square. So that's then equal to 49 pi. Type that in your calculator. 49 times pi. That is equal to 153.94 if you round to two decimal places. And they would be the circumference with the length, so that's centimeters, but the area is centimeters square. Question three. So you've been given that the area of a triangle is uh, 72 centimeters square, and you've been given, the, um, they've been asked the height. So the area of a triangle is a half times base times height. You know what the area is, that's 72. And we have the base. The base has been given to you, that is equal to 18. So it's a half times 18 times its perpendicular height. So there's the 18, the base, that's 18. We want to find the perpendicular height. So 18 times a half times by 18 times by h is the same as 18h divided by 2. So how do I get rid of the half or the, the rid of the divide by 2? You multiply 2 on both sides of the equation. So 72 times by 2 is equal to and 18 times by h over 2 times by 2. So 72 times by 2 is 144. 18 times by h divided by 2 times by 2 is 18 times by h. Now we just need to get rid of the, eight, uh, the 18. So you divide 18 on both sides. Therefore, 144 divided by 18, mental arithmetic is terrible in the morning, that's 8. Question 4. So they told you that we need to find yz there, the side yz. We've got a 90 degree triangle and we've got three sides, so we're going to use Pythagoras here. How does Pythagoras go again? Remember it's wrap. Short side square plus short side square is equal to the hypotenuse square. So, yeah, remember that. So the first, the two short sides would be y z and y x, right? It's those two sides that form the ninety degree triangle. So that's the short side one, short side two, and the hypotenuse. So the sum of the two short side squares is equal to the hypotenuse square. So short side one is equal to yz, well, it doesn't matter of course which one is side 1, side 2, 
and then the other one, other short side, is then the 3, the y, um, um, x, y, and then the hypotenuse is equal to 5 squared. So y, z squared plus 9 is equal to 25. We need to get y, z alone, so we're going to minus 9 on both sides. So 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. So y z square is equal to 16. Ah, oh, I've got a square. The next lesson we're going to look more at dealing with squares and square roots. How do I get rid of that square? Square root both sides. We can't square root individual terms, right? But we can square the whole or square root the whole of the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So we get y z is equal to square root of 16, 4. Question 5. The area of a trapezium is 21.62 um, centimeters square and find its height. Well, what's the area of a trapezium again? It's beautiful. It's height over 2 times by the sum of the two parallel sides. See if you can prove that formula. Why is that the case? Uh, digital high five if you can prove it. So we've got the area 21.62 is equal to h over 2. Those two lengths of the sides of the parallels, uh, parallels of sides are 3.8 and 5.4. So we need to add them together. Okay, so the first thing that's annoying us is that divide by 2. So we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides, right? Multiply by 2 there, multiply by 2 there. So what do we have then? So 2 times by 21.62 is equal to 43.24. And what happens, of course, if you multiply 2 by that, you just get H. So 3.8 plus 5.4, that's 9.2. So 9.2H is equal to 43.24. Now we're going to, we want to get h alone, so we're going to divide 9.2 on both sides. So divide 9.2 there, and then we're going to divide 43.24 also by 9.2. So therefore, h is equal to 4.5. 4.7, sorry, 4.7. Okay, question 6. Ooh. Let's see if we get our bearings right here. So the ship travels six kilometer northwest. Okay, Do you remember where northwest is. So six kilometer northwest, and then it changes course. Realize it needs to get home before nine o'clock, and it now travels for further ten kilometers northeast. In other words, between northwest changing to northeast, that will be a ninety degree angle. Sure, made a right turn there. So now we need to find out how far this ship is from home. So that is, of course, a 90 degree triangle. And just uh, just quickly, um, if you just draw the, uh, just the compass, just uh, so the difference between northeast, northwest, that must be a 90 degree triangle. So you can just reconstruct the triangle. So the one the short side is 6, other one is 10, long side is x. So we can use Pythagoras again. Kerga Pythagoras, 10 squared plus 6 squared is equal to x squared, right? The sum of the two short side square equals to the long side square. 100 plus 36 is equal to x squared. 100 plus 36 is 136. And so what's opposite of squaring? Square rooting. So we square root on both sides. And what's the square root of 136? 30 is equal to 11.67. So, and so that means the ship is... Um, a hundred and it's seven six seven kilometers from home. Okay, question seven. It takes light eight and a third minutes to reach the earth to reach the earth from the sun. Right, and then calculate the distance between the sun and the earth if light travels at that. Three hundred thousand kilometers a second. Isn't that astonishing? So we need to find the distance. Remember the distance if you hopefully you do science there's a video on google classroom if you if you don't know the distance speed and time formula so there's distance we need to find out distance is equal to speed times by time just important here speed is so that velocity part is is then um so the, the distance over time right so just so this is kilometers over second that just means our time must also be in seconds you have eight and a third minutes. So how many seconds eight and a third minutes? Well, eight times by 60 plus then another 20 seconds. That's 500 seconds. So let's go for a distance is equal to speed times by time, we said. Well, I said, talking to myself here. And then speed is 300,000 okay, kilometers per second times by the time, which is equal to 
500 seconds, right? That we worked out from the eight and a third minutes. So what is that equal to? That's equal to 150 thousand thousand million kilometers. Quite some distance, eh? What? That is amazing. 150 million kilometers. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, the next one covers exercise one dash.